Hey, welcome back for one more Three Minutes with Rylan. I wanted to talk about something else our keynote speaker said this morning. He was talking about older code and the impulse to rewrite everything we see. He was talking about this in particular about a piece of code that was in Fortran and was used in the original screen, the original moonshot, and um, you know, just did certain calculations that it could do that easy. And that today, modern languages require dozens of lines of code to do the same exact thing. And there's no reason to revise this. It does it correctly, it does it just fine. But then anybody's impulse looking at this system might be to say, well, that's obviously got to go. I really love it when developers look at this kind of code and take a different view. And it's really appropriate because here we are in Nashville, you know, Music City. He said, you want to look at this stuff the way we see you know, silver, gold, and platinum recordings. Things that have sold millions and millions of copies that have endured the test of time. And if you're a fan of Marvel movies and you watch like Guardians of the Galaxy or certain other movies these days, you know that a lot of music that was not new when I was a young guy, and I'm probably older than a lot of you, is coming all the way around now. And it captures the same feelings, and it captures the same emotions, and you just get up and you start moving to it. Even though this is stuff that was written more than 50, maybe 60 years ago. And you know the music I'm talking about. It says, that isn't old, it's proven. It is classic. It, it, it stands up. It is always going to stand up. Well, maybe this code should be seen the same way. Maybe we should be retaining that stuff and not trying to find a way to get rid of it. Because it does something for end users that they love and it works. And I'll leave you to figure out whether I'm talking about code or that music. Wow, this one was only two minutes. Expect more soon.